morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and today again filming inside as the weather outside is just terrible. It's rainy, it's snowy, it's windy, it's just not beautiful to film outside, but the video will be top notch. We will be talking about five amazing Bitcoin charts. I will give you an amazing trading tip, I will give you an amazing travel tip, I will answer the questions of one of the followers, yes, also talking about the news because something is happening with the huge Bitcoin whales and of course giving you some live advice at the end guys. Yes, that's all going to be in this video, so watch the video till the end and start this beautiful day by giving the video a thumbs up already. Now, thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and share it already with all your friends because you know they all want to see this video because they want to know what is happening to bitcoin today and in the next couple of weeks and i'm gonna tell you it's gonna be surprisingly cool now let's jump into the charts first bam The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can clearly see how it's playing out on Bitcoin at the moment. We can clearly see that the support level is here around the 68K. We can clearly see the resistance around 17,900. We are almost nearing that resistance level again over here. The moment we will break that resistance level, we will go to that 77K target that I have on the chart. It didn't go as quickly. It can also go like this or take even uh, till all the way of like a 29th of March or whatever like it can be the, till the first of april doesn't matter uh, the target will still be there in my honest opinion now if you zoom out to this chart that i've been sharing with you guys already for years i will keep to this chart guys i've been telling you already for years the four-year cycle is moving always in the same way we can see here on the bottom now that purple line crossing the dotted line when that happened the previous cycle, that was the second part of the bull market. When it happened in 2017, that was the second part of the bull market. We are crossing the dollar line. This is the second part of the bull market. Normally, from the halving, these red lines, till the top, took 17 months here, from July 2016 till December 2017, 17 months. Here the halving in May 2020, Till the top over there, October 2021, took 17 months. Here again, the halving will be in April, I think the 20th of April, uh, plus 17 months would bring us till September 2025. The top has always been 17 months, 16, 17 months after the halving. Only the first time it was 12 months, but it was the first run of Bitcoin. Even if you look to the bottom, bottom to the next top, here on the left side, 35 bars. Then this one from the bottom to the next stop, 34 bars. So this time, if we take the bottom to the next stop, let's say 33 bars, 35, 34, 33, that would also end somewhere in August 2025. Bottom to the halving was exactly the same like always, 17 bars. Bottom to an all-time high, that one is different because normally it took 27 bars from the bottom to create a new all-time high. Here was 24 bars from the bottom to a new all-time high. At the moment, we already created a new all-time high and it was not like 24 bars, but this was, bam, over here already the new all-time high, 15 bars. So the bottom to the all-time high was quicker. Could mean that the top also was in quicker, could mean all of that. I will stick to this chart until it proves me wrong. You can see also here on the bottom the MACD beautifully rising. I still remember the videos I was making near this bottom, guys. But I told you, look, the red is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. We will go green. And I was telling you, please start to buy around that when it turns into green. And you were doubting that it would fall back to 16K or 20K and you could buy cheaper. And now you're doubting again, can I buy cheaper than 70K? Don't play that doubtful game. Just buy. Guys, on Twitter, I did this giveaway of 500 US dollar. I can't pick a pinger because PicCow at the moment is not working. They know this. I notify them. They see it. They also reacted down below my uh, tweet. They are working on it. When it's finished, that is when I will draw the winner. So you can still join that $500 Bitcoin giveaway if you go to my Twitter, to my X. I only do it with PicCow because then I know it's completely honest, decentralized. I can't handpick people. Then it's completely official, like... Um, out of my hands and I just want it to be very honest. So I will give you another 24 hours to retweet that tweet to be joining this contest. If we now look at this, we can see here clearly as well, uh, if we now look again at this, we can still see there's a lot of people that's going to be liquidated when we touch the 72k level. These are all the bears that are going short 
and they will be liquidated when the price goes long. So when the price will reach 72K, there's a lot of liquidations happening. I think it's a few billion dollar worth of Bitcoins being liquidated then. So important level to keep an eye on. Zooming out, we can see that after an each halving here, after this halving, we climbed 12,000%. After this halving, we climbed 3,000%. After this halving, we climbed 700%. If we only climb 150% after this halving, that could still lead to a very beautiful price between 100 and 140K. Because if we are near the halving, around 70K, we will grow with 140%, just calculate, we will definitely go above 100k this time and 140k is a very beautiful target also when we look at this one the rsi on the rsi all those bears i can't even understand why they are bears just look at the rsi this is when the bottom is in that's when you should be buying that is when i told you to buy this is when the top is in that's when you should be selling i will tell you when to sell we are not near that top. This is a monthly chart, so it can easily take another 12 to 17 months, guys, to reach that top over there. Be aware of these charts. Don't let these bears fool you that we are gonna fall down now. We will touch this level. And after that, we will wait patiently, very patiently to buy back here in 2026. We will buy back the bottom. We will sell over here near the top, we will buy back near the bottom, and we will repeat that same cycle again. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Of course, guys, short term, same targets. 72K, shit out of liquidations, 73, 75, 77K, that is my target. From there, we can cool down, maybe retrace a little bit before we go even higher. Long term, we are just getting started in the second part of this bull run. The first part already passed, that was from 16K all the way to 60K. You missed that because you probably didn't completely believe me when I told you at 16K, buy everything, sell your house, sell your wife, sell your kids, go all into Bitcoin. If you would have done that, you would have by now quadrupled your capital in not even six months time. Now. From now, we're gonna go into the second part of the bull market, which is a very steep part of the bull market. I truly believe that from the halving, which is gonna happen in 22 days, that's around three weeks, we will, have a, we will see an explosive move for Bitcoin to the upside. It can happen even sooner because there's a huge short squeeze happening at the moment. We can see this. You can see all the data. Don't hesitate to buy Bitcoin. You will regret it because you are thinking now, ah, I will buy it around 60K or 50K, well then Bitcoin pumps to 100K and you're missing out on all the profits to the upside because you want to be a cheap fuck. You want to buy Bitcoin a little bit cheaper. Why? If you wanted to buy Bitcoin cheaper, you should have bought when I told you to buy it 16K or 20K or 30K or 40K or 50K, when I reminded you to buy at all those levels. That was when you need to look at the cheap price. Now, just get in and get out around the top. Take that last part of the bull market as profits. And I know how difficult it is, that's why I'm giving this trading tip. Of course, always reading the news is interesting, but please don't base your buying opportunities on the news. Base them always on TA. Like this article today, I read an article that max pain could be around 50k, a drop from 70k to 50k, because this Friday, 9.4 billion worth of options are set to expire. So that expiration of the 9.4 billion worth of options could push Bitcoin to 50k, that is exactly what the article is saying. If I look at the A, I don't believe this. I don't see that happening. I can see a 10 to 20% dip if we reach 77k first, for example, and that would mean that we fall back to 60k, 65k, not to 51k. And to be clear, it's around 134,000 bitcoins that are set to be expired on Deribit. So if you want to read the article, read the article and always do your own research. Do educate yourself on what that could mean for the market. What, e what are these options? What can these options do for Bitcoin? What does it mean when 134,000 Bitcoin options expire? Do your own research. You need to educate yourself if you're invested in this industry. But if you want to play it very safe, then the second trading tip is put your buy orders at all those levels what all those news articles are telling you. Put one buy order at 50k. 
put one buy order at 52k, put one buy order at 55k. So if you're sleeping and Bitcoin might wick down to those levels, maybe you're lucky and you bought Bitcoin at 55k or 52k. I don't believe that it's going to happen, but if it will happen, I will have my buy order set there to buy Bitcoin at those levels. And that is how you stressfully navigate through this whole beautiful crypto industry. You don't want to navigate outside now. I want to show you this. Check. This is what you see outside. You see nothing. It's rainy, snowy, foggy. You can't see anything. So that's not the beautiful circumstances to go skiing. And that's why I'm making the video inside because I don't want to get that wet and cold today. Now, let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today is, yes, because of this weather, the last two days, uh, we have gone down to the village to do some shopping. Now, my travel tip for today is never buy ski clothes in this winter village because it's like 40% more expensive and they will give you a 30% discount. But even then, it's like still 40% more expensive than when you buy your stuff just locally at a sports store in your town. Everything that's being sold in these ski villages, like on high levels, like 2000 meters high, like we are now at the moment, it will be way more expensive because they know you don't want to drive down to the stores to buy your ski shit over there. So never buy them in these ski stores. I did buy some stuff in these ski stores because is more expensive even the leather man you know the knife was like 10 percent more expensive but i got a two percent discount i was happy but still if you look at ski clothes you know i need to buy something for jessa and jolie because jessa grew like like tall jessa is now taller than jolie almost like she's the tallest one like you two years ago she was like this little kid still wearing like little clothes, like children clothes. Now she needed new ski clothes because she grew tall. And so we went shopping here. So I know from experience that the clothes in these shops, in these villages high on the mountains are more expensive. They are really more expensive. Buy your snow boots down below in the village. If you have children, just buy those ski clothes at Decathlon. They have wet suits. It's just beautiful brand, beautiful clothes. It's perfectly doing what it needs to do, keeping you warm when you're skiing, protecting your body against the snow and the wet stuff. So that's perfect stuff for if your kids are growing up because they will grow every year. And you can keep buying these expensive ski clothes every year, but that's just useless. Just buy the local shop, the ski clothes, maybe even at Decathlon because they have a lot of stuff that is really cool and cheap. And when you're fully grown like me, then you can go and buy really beautiful, expensive ski clothes like Bauchner, for example. I saw this really cool jacket yesterday, black Bauchner jacket with a B, an orange B on the arm, orange letters on the back, orange zips. And I'm like, oh, I need this. This is like the Bitcoin colors, the B of Bitcoin. Bauchner is a good brand. And I still didn't buy it because why? I am a cheap fuck. I don't want to spend so much money at a jacket and I can afford it easily. But every time when I go in these stores, I'm like, why? I, I will just wear this cheaper brands, but still, still, I might go buy that jacket because it's perfect fit for me. Bitcoin B, Borknor, orange and black. <sighs> Difficult to not buy that one, especially not now when Bitcoin prices are going around 70k and I bought already back at 16k. Shitload of profits and then even with those shitloads of profits, like doubting of buying a 900 euro jacket. Now, let's jump into the next part. Then there was a very good question of one of the followers. Didi, uh, you're always talking about the blockchain data. Uh, do you also look at the macro and the liquidity outside of the blockchain industry? And how do you see that connected to Bitcoin? Of course, I pay attention to everything in the economical industry all over the world because I just love to see all these numbers. And of course, it's very important to see how much liquidity is there outside of the Bitcoin and blockchain industry. And outside is way more than inside. We are talking about 2 trillion. 3 trillion was the total crypto market cap in the top of 2021. Maybe this market cap we will reach like 6 to 10 trillion. That's nothing compared to all the liquidity outside there. We have real estate, we have the stocks. That's like gold market cap is 12 trillion. Real estate is 80 trillion. There is so much money out there that we always need to pay attention to what is happening with that money. For example, now the spot ETF is changing that game for all those people that are invested in those other industries. And that's what we clearly see now. 
because the spot gold ETF is going down, 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 down. The Bitcoin spot ETFs are going up, 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 which is indicating that the smart investors in the world do understand the difference between the gold of the 21st century Bitcoin and the traditional gold. And they are dumping their traditional gold spot ETFs for their Bitcoin spot ETFs because they want to invest in the future. So I will always keep an eye on all the macroeconomics. Is the money printer being turned on in the United States or Europe? And will the Fed start to print a shitload of money? I know already that money will flow into very valuable store of assets. We know if the money printer stands to print, a huge part of the money will flow also into gold, silver, stocks, and Bitcoin. So yes, macroeconomics when it comes to liquidity are very important. Also, macroeconomics when it comes to war. If there is a war, a war, in my humble opinion, is never there because it needs to be a war because two parties are fighting. The war is always there for economical reasons. That is why the United States is invading so many countries just to create a war for economical reasons. Because war is economy. And in those times of war, I think there is always assets that play out to be better than the rest of your investment strategy. And that is Bitcoin, in my honest opinion. Because we saw now, during the last two wars, that Bitcoin outperformed all other assets. And why? Because you can take your Bitcoins everywhere, you can send your Bitcoins everywhere, you can use your Bitcoins everywhere. If you would have been in Russia or in Ukraine in that war, you would only have needed to take your ledger or your seed trace in your mind outside of that country and live a happy life somewhere else by just getting your Bitcoins off the wallet and convert it into, for example, the cash of that local country or spend Bitcoins. You know, I was in Phuket, Thailand during the war in Ukraine. You know, there was the, the only direct flight was there from Moscow to Phuket. And that's why Phuket was completely full with Russian people. And do you know what those Russian people did? They started to invest in real estate in Phuket. They started to build houses, build condos, and they started to flow their money out of Russia into Phuket to play it a little bit more safely. Second thing that I saw happening in Phuket was a lot of these Russian people, they were using crypto. They were using Bitcoin. I can invest in Phuket in houses or condos and pay directly with Bitcoin. I can exchange US dollar tether to Thai baht. It's all possible there. So whenever there is a war somewhere in the world, you will see that they will understand that Bitcoin is the only asset that they will be able to take with them without anyone stopping them. Using your bank account, they will be frozen during the war or the banks will even close. Bitcoins, you can always spend and use 24-7. So that's my answer to your question. Hope that is satisfying. If not, then please leave another comment down below. The news for today, guys, is again about the whales. There's a huge Bitcoin whale moving $6 billion worth of Bitcoin from one wallet to three new wallets. So maybe he is just like diversifying his Bitcoin portfolio from here till Three, two, three different wallets. Maybe he's even selling them peer to peer. Maybe he's even selling them through OTC, through BlackRock or any of the other spot ETF companies. But we always need to keep track of what is happening. And that's beautiful at the blockchain because it's completely transparent. And we can see that his fifth richest Bitcoin will hasn't moved these Bitcoins for a very long time and is moving now, now 94,500 Bitcoins. It's a combined value of around like 58 billion US dollar in Bitcoin. I think he even left 1.4 Bitcoin in the original wallet, but all the other Bitcoins are diversified into these wallets that you can see here in the screen. Always keep an eye on these wills. Is he, is he going to sell? Is he preparing to sell? Is he moving his Bitcoins to other wallets for safety reasons? Of course, we don't know this, but it's just beautiful to see that these Bitcoins are moving. And when they are moving, they are mostly preparing to sell them or something else. So keep an eye on these wallets and you know what the big wills are doing. Because this is the fifth biggest will. And yes, it is important to understand and know what the fifth biggest will in Bitcoin is doing. 
And of course, it can be an exchange or whatever it is. But we don't know. That's the beauty of crypto. This is the fifth biggest will. And we don't know who it is or what it is. And he is anonymous. And that is why we are in Bitcoin. To keep freedom to finance. To keep privacy to finance. And to keep the power to the people. So that is why I love Bitcoin. The fifth richest will. And we don't know who he is. Is moving a shitload of Bitcoins. And nobody is able to stop him in moving them. That is exactly what Bitcoin is. Power to the people. And then the last part of the video, guys, the inspirational part. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find any quote anymore, so I just invented one. You know, snow is kind of like life. If snow falls, it's just something random. We don't know what is given to us in life. But when the snow falls into the ground, you have this huge mass of white. And you can start to mold that white in whatever you want. You, you can make a beautiful snowman out of it. You can build a castle out of it. You can build whatever you want with that snow. And that is exactly how you should treat life. Life is given to you. And there is multiple of opportunities falling into your lap. You just need to start and mold those opportunities into what you want it to be. It's simple as that. The moment you ignore all those opportunities, chances and everything else that is thrown at you by life, if you, if you keep ignoring it, your life will stay the same. The moment you grab these opportunities, grab all these chances, grab everything that he throws you and look at it and really stand still. But like, this is what the opportunities are. This is all my chances. Let's grab them. Let's mold them into what you want them to be. That is when you grab life by the balls. That is when you change life into the life that you want that life to be. It's simple as that. Just compare it to that snow. It will keep falling. Whatever we do, we ha don't have any influence. That snow will keep falling. And when it falls there, you can leave it there so that the dogs, like Teddy, can piss on it. You get yellow snow. Or you can pick it up and make something beautiful out of it. A snowman, a castle, whatever you want, a ball to throw at somebody to create happiness, it doesn't matter. The moment you leave it on the floor, it will be pissed on by a dog. And the moment you change it into something beautiful, it will change your perspective of that snow. And that is exactly what you can do to life. Life is there. All the opportunities and chances are there. The moment you neglect them, ignore them, they will be there and they will stay there. The moment you will take them and grab them by the balls, you will be able to change life into that beautiful thing that it should be. Life should be worth living. And you're the one responsible to make it worth living. And you do this by grabbing life by the balls or the boobs or the butts, whatever you call it. But start today. If you see a chance, if there is an opportunity, grab it, mold it into what you want it to be, and then let it go. And then you will see slowly your life will change in the direction that you want to be living. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, the tips, and everything else? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up to Bybit, use the link down below. Uh, they have a 30,000 US dollar bonus, up to 30K. Plus, at the moment, you can win up to 4 million USDT because of joining the contest. That is the 24 Trader Contest. So sign up to Bybit today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again.